Saints fans, welcome to my new series, Bruce's Truth. Uh, we'll get straight into it. We've got uh, Jake Carlisle as my first guest here on the uh, Beanbags. Now, Jake, first couple of games as a Saint, um, people may know not a lot about you. Take us back to the start. Where did you play all your junior footy and how did you grow up? Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a Craig Graham boy, Juicy. Uh, grew, up, grew up there and obviously when I got drafted, uh, drafted through Essendon um, when I was 17, 18, uh, moved out. Um, but yeah, played played me footy since I was I think four or five. Um, yeah, went through all you know the Oz kick system and things like that, and then uh, made me way up and uh, and then played cricket. So I didn't really uh, have too much to do with footy. I just played casually. And then as I got older and, and more taller, I suppose I uh, took it pretty serious. And then I uh, got picked up from there. Now, family, you got any brothers and sisters? Uh, yeah, I've got uh, I got four sisters. Uh, so I've uh, grown up with all of them, uh, which has been a joy. Uh, but it's uh, obviously good to be in a, a footy environment when there's a lot of guys around. So uh, it just feels like you know you can have a have a muck around with them rather than rather than your sisters. So it's good. Yeah, I'm the youngest of four boys, so complete opposite. Now something else happened that was um, pretty interesting on the weekend, mate. Can you um, let us know what happened with your keys in your car? I believe your car was at Eddie Hat until was it yesterday? I still think someone's played a joke on me. But uh, what happened was I got to the got to the ground, um, locked my car as you do. You, you walk in, ready to go, you got your game face on, put my wallet, phone, keys in my locker, uh, unpack my bag, get changed, do what i got to do. Uh, it was obviously a good win um, over the lines, and then uh, I've gone to get changed after having my uh, hot colds in the shower and stuff, and then uh, my keys weren't there. It wasn't ideal being the last bite there as well, so I couldn't really ask if anyone's got them. Um, but yeah, cut a long story short, I had to get an Uber home. Um, Asked the boys for you know who had me keys and, and no one owned up. Um, and then Eddie had it rang us and said that they've got a spare spare set of keys there. So it was mine. And uh, late last night I got an Uber in again and um, and yeah went and got my car. So it was all good. Yeah, it's an interesting way to celebrate the first win for the club. Um, now we're just going to have a little bit of word association here with some of the fellows in the change room, uh, a few of the characters and a few people around the club, so I'll say their name and you say the first word that comes to your head. Jack Stephen. Character. David Armitage. Pie. <laughs> Billy Longer. Just, he's a different cookie. <laughs> Spud Frawley. <laughs> Just big nug, doesn't stop. Mav Weller. Different. And finally, Jimmy Webster. Uh, legend. Jimmy's a legend. Right, mate. Good work. Now, mate, you're obviously a good-looking rooster, and you like to look after yourself. Um, can you t can you tell us the go with um, why you're always smelling so good? You know, is it the moisturiser or the lint roller that you always have in the locker? You know, can you can you run us through a few of those little things? Obviously, uh, trading clubs, the last thing you want to do is uh, smell smell pretty ordinary. Um, I suppose just the amount of training we do, I just like to keep myself fresh. So I've got, got my Listerine, my toothpaste, um, yeah, my lint roller, because I've got a couple of cats, so a bit of hair floating around. Um, but yeah, I've got the, got the chewies there, I've got the, the aftershave and stuff, so I just like to smell pretty good. And um, unlike a few guys in the locker room that don't smell smell the greatest or don't brush their gums in the morning, it's not ideal, but... Name and shame. <laughs> Spud Frawley. <laughs> yeah, the Regis has been known to sweat a little bit, that's for sure. <laughs> um, now we've got a few brain teasers for you, mate. Um, what do you put in a toaster? Toast. <laughs> Bread. <laughs> Spell hop. H-O-P. Spell mop. M O P. What do you do at a green light? Go through. <laughs> yeah, well done. Not nice stop. Well done. Um, and the last one: If a red house is made with red bricks, a blue house is made with blue bricks, and a pink house is made with pink bricks, what is a green house made of? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but green bricks. <laughs> A greenhouse is made of glass, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, well, Jake, um, thanks for having a, thanks for coming on my show, mate. Um, Bruce's truth. Um, really appreciate you being the first guest, mate. And uh, all the best for the rest of your year. And um, Saints fans, keep an eye out for the big number two running around. He's obviously killing it. So thanks a lot. Sure. Thank you.